Hey, what's up everybody? Um, Matt here, and today I want to do another video for you guys in our pros and cons series. Um, we're going to be talking today about the nostril piercing. So let's really quick go over five pros and five cons to getting a nostril piercing. Um, let's start with the pros first, all right? So um, I would say our first and foremost pro to getting a nostril piercing is that it has become really widely accepted, whether it's through just the general public or through places of employment, but most people don't even blink an eye to a nostril piercing, all right? So what that means is when you go to work or get a job or try and get a job, um, no one's gonna ask you to take it out. So there are still some holdout places that are making people take out nostril piercings, but especially here in California, it's gonna be more and more rare. Um, for the most part, every time I go to a store or anything like that, most of the people there have nostril piercings. It's pretty awesome. Our second one, our second pro to a nostril piercing is it is really easy to hide. Even though it's right there on the face, especially the part of the nose kind of protruding out of your face, um, it's pretty easy to hide. They have these things called nostril retainers. They're usually made out of either quartz or glass or uh, like a Pyrex. And they're just little clear L bins with a tiny nub on the end. If your piercing is well healed, you can even put a little makeup over that little retainer um, and they hide super, super good. So if you have a thing where um, an event you need to go to or you know family that doesn't want to see it or you know your job still isn't letting you have it, get a nostril retainer. They're awesome. Put them in there. You don't even see them at all, okay? One of the few piercings you can truly, truly hide like that. Now, number three um, in our pros is this piercing heals super, super easy, okay? Um, as long as you're in proper aftercare and not bumping it or knocking it, this piercing heals like a breeze, all right? Um, what's cool about this piercing, it's a piercing that's been done for a very, very long period of time, whether within our culture um, here in the States or you know, worldwide, this piercing has a long history behind it, okay? So it's a great piercing, a really easy piercing to heal. Um, so if you're on the fence about getting it, don't because this piercing is a breeze. Now for our final pro to get in a nostril piercing is, in my opinion, I would say it's a super, super easy piercing to get done, all right? So super easy, um, as long as you go and see a professional piercer in your area who knows what they're doing, they can perform this piercing super quick and super effortlessly with no hiccups, uh, you're, this is, you're not gonna feel a thing. Um, now, one thing, it does make your eye kind of water, and that's only because you have nerves that connect from your nostril to your tear duct, and so you get this involuntary eye watering that occurs, um, but on average, it's super, super easy, super chill piercing to get. As long as it's performed properly, um, you're not gonna feel things. It's gonna be a breeze, all right? All right, so now that we've talked about the pros of getting a, a nostril piercing, at least the top five pros in my opinion, let's talk about the cons, all right? So what are five cons to getting a nostril piercing? Well, first and foremost, I would say um, nostril piercings are really, really prone to getting piercing bumps, all right? Piercing bumps are super, super common, and there's a variety of reasons why you would get a piercing bump on a nostril. Um, first off, uh, if you get it done by a not-so-professional body piercer who doesn't get a perfectly straight angle, um, if it's slightly angled down or up, you're gonna be going through a lot of excess tissue, which can also lead to bumps, otherwise known as hypertrophic scarring or keloiding, um, you know, nickname keloiding. Uh, so make sure you get it done right by professional piercer who knows what they're doing. Um, also, improper aftercare could cause piercing bumps. So if you're doing anything besides uh, saltwater soaks or saline sprays, um, it's gonna probably be too harsh. So obviously all bottle cleaners like hydrogen peroxides, alcohol, neosporin, bactine, all that stuff you totally wanna avoid because it's just really, really harsh and damaging on the piercing, okay? And which is obviously gonna lead to a bump. Um, and then also uh, improper jewelry. So if you have cheap jewelry, um, bad fitted jewelry, you put a ring in too soon, whatever, those could also lead to piercing bumps, okay? So we wanna avoid all that, um, you know, but nostril piercings are super, super easy to heal as long as they're done properly and you probably take care of them. So if you're doing all that, don't sweat it. You're gonna be good. Number two, um, if you are a person that likes to wear a lot of makeup on it, um, on your face, be really, really careful you're not getting makeup in the piercing, okay? Now, it's on your, the piercing's on your nose, so it's really easy to go and throw powder or whatever you put on your face and just go right over the top of that piercing. What that's gonna do, it's gonna clog up the piercing and which is gonna lead to problems, irritations, etc. Also, if you have a little gym or anything like that, you're gonna cloud that gym up, you're gonna get makeup all up inside there and that gym is not gonna be as shiny and bright as you probably want it to be, okay? So when applying makeup, be very, very gentle and make sure you put up right up next to it but not over the top of it and trying really hard not to get it inside of it, okay? I can't stress that part enough, okay? Uh, number three, 
to get it done professionally, okay? Um, I know I kind of said that in number one. Actually, I say this a lot through all my videos. Make sure you get it done by a professional body piercer, okay? If you get pierced with not very good quality jewelry, you're gonna have problems, it's not gonna heal. If you get it pierced and not a perfect angle, it's gonna have problems, it's not gonna heal, okay? So be really picky on who you go to do your piercings, all piercings for that matter, but especially a nostril piercing because it's so, so important to get this one done good, okay? Um, I should say perfect, you know, don't settle for anything less than, all right? Number four, I would say is, this is one of those piercings, you cannot start with a ring, okay? A lot of people really want that ring look with nostril piercings. I couldn't tell you how many people every single day come in and say, I wanna get my nose pierced and I wanna start with a fitted ring. Well, you just can't, okay? When you see someone walking down the street with a ring in their nose, they didn't start with that. They got pierced the stud first and then they switched to a ring later on once it was healed. Um, a fitted ring just does not give you enough room for swelling and healing and all that kind of stuff, okay? so. You can't start with a ring, start with a stud, um, whether it's a nostril screw or a little titanium flat back uh, stud post. Um, start with those first, heal it, and then you could totally get the most fitted, tiniest little ring in there you, that you could ever imagine, okay? But you gotta give it at least two, three months at the bare minimum before you even think about putting a ring in there, okay? If you can go longer, that's even better, but I like two or three months as, as the bare minimum, okay? Number five, um, our fifth and final con to getting a nostril piercing is these piercings can get caught and snagged super, super easy. So be very, very careful. Be careful taking shirts on and off, careful washing your face, careful hugging people. Um, they can get caught and snagged and yanked on really, really easy, which obviously um, you don't want it yanked out and you don't want it to like cause any trauma for getting pulled and snagged too hard, okay? So be very careful with all those things I just said um, and build a force field around it and just don't let things bump it, knock it, snag it, touch it, whatever. Um, just kind of be conscious of it. So there you guys go. Um, there's five pros, five cons to get in a nostril piercing. Now, once again, there's a lot more. Um, in my opinion, all the pros totally outweigh the cons. I think nostrils are great piercings. So if you're on the fence about doing it, um, just go get it done. You're not gonna regret it. You're gonna love it. It's gonna look super cute. Um, and uh, yeah, I love nostril piercings. So um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys are loving this series. And we're gonna see you guys next time. Uh, and we're out.